Here we have a not to 10 volt power pack. It's a load controller for dimmable loads, which use the analog protocol to dim them. We're gonna be pairing it with a Pico remote and a sensor. First though, let's connect it to our fixture. This fixture has a dimmable driver connected to it. It uses the analog protocol, which is also known as not to 10 volt. We have the mains input, the five wires on the power pack, permanent live in, mains neutral, switch live out, which switches the power to the fixture on and off, and the dimming pair, which tell the fixture how bright it should be. Then we have the connections to our load, live and neutral in, and the dimming pair. Let's start with the earth connections. Next, let's join the neutral from the supply to the neutral into the power pack and the neutral to the fixture. Next, the live from the main supply connects to the permanent live input to the power pack. The switch live output from the power pack connects to the live input on the fixture. And the analog pair, which control the brightness of the fixture, connect to the analog input of the fixture. If you're connecting several fixtures to the power pack, they'll dim to the same level together. Make sure you keep the polarity of the two analog connections the same for each of the fixtures. In other words, get the grey and the purple wires the same way around each time. And that's all there is to it. Easy. In order to get these wireless products to work together, we first need to put the PAL pack into pairing mode. We do that by holding down the toggle button, that's the one in the middle, for six seconds. The LED on the PAL pack starts flashing, which means that we're ready to press the bottom button on the Pico for six seconds. At this point, you could pair more Picos to the PAL pack. You can do two-way switching, three-way switching, or even up to 10-way switching with the green PAL pack. Now we're ready to take the power pack out of pairing mode by pressing the same middle toggle button for six seconds. Now we're ready to use the Pico. We can turn the lights off and on. We can also use the raise and lower buttons to dim the lights down and back up again. The middle button is for a preset level. To adjust the level you want, use the raise and lower buttons to adjust the brightness of the fixture. Then hold down the middle button for six seconds. The lights will flash three times. And now the preset level is saved. So you can turn the lights off and press your middle button to go back to the preset level. With some fixtures, you may need to set a minimum brightness level below which you don't want them to dim down before they switch off. We call that level the low end trim. To set the low end trim level, press and hold the lower button on the power pack for 12 seconds. The lights will flash and the LED on the power pack will also start flashing. Use the raise and lower buttons on the power pack to find the level you want. It can be as low as 1% and as high as 45%. Once you've found your level, press the middle toggle button for six seconds. And now your low end trim is saved. I've shown you how easy it is to install and set up Lutron's not to 10 volt power pack.